On Friday in the NFL, at the end of practice, we call it our polish period. We do 25 to 35 plays. <clears throat> they are as crystal and they are as pure as you will ever see a team execute them, and that's how they should be. No mistakes. You can do that Monday to that point, but not on Friday. We step in the huddle. Our very first play, our quarterback calls a pass play. My job, if the outside linebacker blitzes, I'm going to pick him up. If not, I run a flat route. Quarterback gets under center. He drops back. He throws the ball to the other side of the field. Wide receiver catches it, starts to run. He is running, whistle blows. Merrill, what are you doing? I've been in Pittsburgh about four months. I did not know everything, but I did know one thing. Chuck Knoll never stops a play, asks you what you're doing if you're doing it right. <clears throat> that dream that I had been working so hard to do, I don't know if it's going to come true. I've seen them cut players in the middle of practice for making mental mistakes. My first fear was that linebacker may have blitzed and I don't see him. And if he's standing around that quarterback, I might not see opening day. But I located him and he was in coverage. I had run the right route. I'd done it thousands of times. But when he asked me what I was doing, because the ball was on the other side of the field, my response to him was nothing. He said, that's the problem. He said, I didn't keep you on this team, Merrill, to be a common football player. He said, heck, I can call anybody we just cut, bring them back here, and do what you just did. He goes, I'll do one, one better for you. Sunday, I'll pull somebody out of the stands and do what you just did. I didn't keep you on this team to be common. We can't be common. I need you to be uncommon. That means when your buddy's over there running for his life, go help him. How do you know he doesn't get hit and he fumbles and because you went over there, you recover it? Better yet, he breaks a tackle, you make a key block and we score a touchdown. He said, guys, we're going to line up every Sunday and everybody we face is going to be talented. We are not going to beat people with our talent. We are going to beat people by being uncommon. Well, now, I was just grateful I didn't get cut, but when I got to my locker, it really absorbed what he was saying. He had taught me another valuable lesson. He wasn't asking me to be bigger, taller, stronger, or faster, although that's all is part of it. He was asking me to create a mindset and a habit, which I could do. Now, I could, it would bore you. None of these were ever on Sports Center. But that lesson alone, that habit alone, completely changed my career.